Ido here, and this is my review of icstation.com's uh, PS2 keyboard interface module for your Arduino or other microcontroller products. If you have an old keyboard at home which has a connector like this, the PS2 connector, it probably just gathers dust somewhere, but with, with this kind of module, which has the appropriate connector of course, you can connect to that keyboard and uh, read the information from it to, to give your uh, projects a very nice and interesting uh, input uh, capabilities which are also very complex compared to uh, buttons or uh, potentiometers. What this thing does you see it has a uh, ST micro microcontroller here which was programmed to to read the input from the keyboard and give it out into three separate uh, outputs, output methods actually. The first one is the parallel output which gives you a um, the 8 bits of uh, of the character D0 to D7 it has the um, UART or serial output here TX and if you short this uh, two pins with a jumper you can get you can also get a I square C or TWI from here that's the, the data and clock now this is powered from uh, 5 volts and, uh, and ground here 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 or here whichever way it's uh, more convenient for you here too and these two pins which are connected together give you the uh, the key press and key release information from the keyboard. So essentially if you know the, the scan codes of the keyboard because um, this does not give you the the ASCII value of, uh, of keys that you press, it actually gives you a, um, a native uh, scan codes of the keyboard which you have to to find and decode yourself although the um, the product page in icstation.com does give you the, the resources you need to to figure out this information. Now this, uh, it's a very nice module, it works out of the box and I'll demonstrate it, uh, demonstrate it in a little while but um, there are a few shortcomings here which I noticed. The first one is that the key person release is not, uh, is not smart. I mean, if you press for instance uh, a control shift and you leave the shift but leave the control pressed they still show you the, the last uh, key release this goes back to zero even though the the first key you press is still pressed that's a bit of a problem the other thing is that uh, as far as I can tell it's not documented anywhere so it's probably does not exist you can't give the the keyboard commands back to this RX it only gives you the output so if you want for instance to to control the the caps lock and num lock LEDs on the keyboard you can't do that because you can't uh, send that information to the keyboard. This is not something that the keyboard does itself. It needs the information back from the computer. Still, this is an extremely interesting and simple way to get um, intricate and elaborate um, input into your Arduino project. And uh, let's see how it works in, uh, in real life. Here's a little uh, quick and dirty demo that I uh, prepared to show you the abilities of this little module. This is a PS2 keyboard, English and Hebrew. It connects to the module, which connects through, the, through its um, serial UART uh, TX into the Arduino's RX. And also the um, key press and release uh, indication is connected to the Arduino's um, interrupt pin here, pin 2. Now this has a sketch that controls, uh, gets commands from the, um, from the module and controls this RGB LED. Let's power it up. Now I can press, you see, whenever I press a key, this lights up, pin 13, and uh, lights off when I release it. Now what this does, you can control um, the different um, different uh, colors of the RGB LED. I just put a shade here so you can see it uh, clearly. Let's say I pick the blue part, B, and I click the plus here. You'll see that the blue part of the LED is getting brighter or dimmer as I press the minus. Then I can click uh, green, for instance G. Add green to the mixture. Let's uh, take away the blue. And a little bit of the green too. And add some red. This is a very simple uh, uh, sketch, I can, I'll put a link to it in the description when you can uh, uh, run it on your own Arduino and see how it works. 
this is just just a again a very quick demonstration of the power of this module to um, to give your Arduino project a very elaborate input from a keyboard but that depends on your uh, programming skills and uh, it's a very interesting uh, thing to have this module if you have a, an old PS2 keyboard very useful right so now that you've seen it in action here's my verdict of this icstation.com's uh, PS2 keyboard interface module this costs about five and a quarter dollars and if you already have a PS2 keyboard at home, which you probably don't use anyway, or you can get one for a buck or two, this is a very quick, simple and cheap solution to interface it to your Arduino or other microcontroller projects. And uh, as you saw, it works, it's simple. So uh, I think it's totally worth it. And uh, thank you for watching.